I'm Brian, and welcome back to the IPS Tech Hub. Today we have some products from Motion Labs uh, that I'm actually really stoked to show you. A lot of stuff uh, that happens with uh, motor control kind of goes unspoken. Uh, and it's one of those things that a lot of times gets used and most people don't even know what it is or how it works or why it's there. Um, what we have here is an install version of uh, motor control as well as a touring version of motor control there in its case. Um, some of the biggest differences here is that when you have something that sits for longer than 90 days, especially like in an integration setting, you really have to go with an install version. Uh, the biggest difference here is code compliance. There's extra safety measures, there's extra enclosures and buffers that are required uh, for your electrical codes to maintain compliancy that keeps you safe, but also uh, allows insurance to insure what you're hanging. Um, some of the things like uh, you would say like, hey, my church is small and I've got like a, a, a system that maybe I have a really tall peak and I just don't have the ability to get a lift in, or maybe I don't have the, uh, uh, you know, the ability to get like a scaff in there. Um, those kind of scenarios are super great for motors. Uh, it's one of those things, they do cost a little bit more than to you know, say dead hang something, uh, but it allows you the flexibility to say, hey, at a push of a button on a pendant, I can bring this into my level, work on it, and then take it away. Some of the things you may notice is that they look absolutely completely different. You know, you have a, a, a large case here, and this normally has another proper case with it that has the low voltage components separate from the high voltage components. Whereas a Turing controller will actually have it all in one case and it's internally buffered between the two. Turing controllers will also carry their own power distribution, their own output, and their own safety breakers on them. Uh, one of those things is like, they're also designed to take anywhere from your quarter ton motors all the way up to your two ton motors. Same scenario for your installation controllers. The biggest difference there is what fuse sizes they're gonna put inside of your case dependent on your application. Something else you may notice is that the remote panel is completely separate versus being all in one chassis. This allows you to put your controls closest to maybe where your power comes into your building or where all your conduit is being installed and then keeping your controller really close to the stage or wherever your point of use is. So in this scenario, this product is actually going out to a client in here in Nashville at an amphitheater. So they're doing uh, IMAG walls that are gonna be up for entire seasons. And one of the reasons we don't want to leave just a rolling controller around is that A, they tend to cost more. And if it's something that's not going anywhere, that's always going to be used in the same place, there's cost benefits associated with having a permanent controller. Not to mention the fact, like we said, the safety capabilities of saying, hey, we have this near a stage. It's not in the way of any artist or, or a tripping hazard. They will take out a pendant, plug it in and operate it as needed. Uh, it's just one of those things that on a case-by-case -case basis, maybe you say, hey, I'm doing something temporary and I'm having a show come in. A touring controller is great. And then maybe you're thinking, I want to be able to get my equipment down, change the focus, maybe change what I'm hanging, and I want to do so with the least amount of hassle. That's where having a permanently installed controller would become a super huge asset to your installation. Um, I think that's really the biggest differences here, guys, is that if you got something that's permanent, it's there for more than 90 days to maintain that code compliancy, you're gonna want an install controller. It's just the right way to go. If you got something where you're just doing it temporary, that Turi controller, also available from our IPS inventory, is definitely where you're gonna wanna go instead. Thanks for watching this episode of the IPS Tech Hub. Be sure to follow us on our socials at ips.live and we'll see you next time.